two microphones, both of which are worth more than my car. Although, granted, I do have a pretty terrible car. I think I'm just going to hold this for the whole video because it gives me comfort. So we're at Studio B here at Berkeley Valencia because these are not my microphones, which means I need to come to the studio and rent them out in order to show you guys. This is also why you see a jump in camera quality. This, is, this isn't my camera. My iPhone is over here trying its best. This video was recommended to me from a viewer on the top five studio microphones. If you want to see the other microphones I love to use in these studios, go check that video out. So both of these microphones are descendants of the legendary U67. The U87 was originally a solid state version of the U67, which was a tube microphone. The U87 AI is a reissue of that original U87, which was a version of the U67. I hope that makes sense. The TLM67 is a version of the U67 completely reimagined. It's more affordable, it's a solid state version of the tube microphone, and it does not necessarily claim to sound exactly like a U67. So consider it sort of a reimagined abstraction of the U67. You can see with the paint job itself, if it focuses, Maybe I'll just do B-roll of it later. This is basically trying to mimic tube technology. So that means when you get to the breakup point of this microphone, it starts to distort in a really tube-like fashion. Now with Neumann, more affordable is kind of an oxymoron. They do make cheap microphones, but that depends on your frame of reference because cheap to me is like 150 bucks. Cheap to Neumann is like 700 bucks. So both of these have the exact same specs. They both have a 10 dB pad, they have a low cut if you want, and they have figure of eight, cardioid, and omni polar patterns. Now the difference between these two is where the U87 AI tries to be a complete faithful reproduction of the original U87, the TLM67 is more of a modern twist on the U67. So to some of your guys' disappointment, we cannot do a vocal test with these mics because we can't get what could be coronavirus on the actual capsule itself. So I'm speaking into my Rode NT1 and we're gonna do a bunch of other comparisons with it. We're gonna do an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar through a Fender hot rod, and then I'm gonna show you some audio that I took during a session that happened yesterday using the TLM67s as drum overheads. This is an old 1984 Gibson Les Paul for those who cares. 1984 standard, I think. I don't even know, it's my guitar. It's a mystery.
So if you guys have seen my top five studio microphones that I use in these studios here, you know that I prefer the TLM67 over the U87. This isn't really fair though, because the U87 gets used on basically every session, and it has for the last 10 years, basically every day. The TLM67 doesn't get used quite as much, so it's a little bit fresher. I basically just like the TLM67 better because it's in better shape. As you guys can see, these microphones have gotten really beat up over the years. The mesh all over them is bent. They've got some scratches on them. They've held up pretty well for the amount of abuse they've taken. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something about the world of luxury or top quality professional microphones. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Probably back at my apartment and not in this studio, but we will do more here. See you next time. Goodbye.